guys if you have a friend who defends you when you are not there honestly you have a good friend there and you have to do all that you can to hold them the fact that victoria defends sean guys did you hear her in her in the i wanted to say diary room did you hear her in one of the media rounds today what she said come you guys give sean some grace and yeah no doubt that was why oz defended her because if you're the type who always defends your friends even in their absence definitely you are a nice person and others will defend you hey guys welcome to another interesting update have you liked the video please go ahead hit the like button and subscribe to the youtube channel calling victoria fake or saying she's the fakest housemate i do not see that now it's bringing me to sean victoria and wani did you guys think that victoria is not a nice person if victoria wasn't a nice person you guys would have seen that there would have been some sort of was between herself and wani because what even some friends when they aren't dating you they don't feel happy seeing you with another lady even when they are not dating you am i not right yes some persons claim they are just your friends but when they see you with other females they get a bit jealous and envious so what are we going to call that so now anybody that comes to the house and said oh victoria i do not believe that because we have seen the relationship between victoria and the twins when the ex handy knowing that sean is for them knowing that sean is her pair and they sean um, went ahead to date, date wani and we have not seen any sort of negative energy between victoria and these twins or Victoria saying ill things about them. We have not seen that. So that alone makes me come to the conclusion that Victoria is actually a nice girl. I do not want to believe because there was a post about Onyeka and she commented on that. It's with a laughing emoji. People are saying, oh, she's really coming out. She, please, guys, cut me some slack. This particular young lady is a nice person. Now, guys, did you guys know that Victoria has been defending Sean at every given opportunity? at every given people keep asking sean sean she said please cut this young man some slack can you give him some grace that is what friendship is all about now i can understand when ozzy says she builds her friends organically exactly do you guys know what that means i want to come out i come to that in a different video because i really want to analyze that and talk about it because people are just organically you think it's just a word it means a lot there it sends a whole lot of message in that play now you guys victoria has been defending sean despite all or what not he has been defending sean knowing that this person is my friend yes i should have your back that is what true friendship is all about if i'm your friend even if we have little between us that should not make me to criticize you that should not make me to paint too bad before the public and that is why exactly what victoria is doing to sean and i am loving that and you can see the energy between herself and wani and handy and sean too now you can see that these two persons these two individuals who we are friends and are still friends and she keeps saying they are still friends because she knows that yeah that friendship never ends even if it's in a relationship he's my friend we were not there when they met in dubai we were not there some of the things they've shared together okay no romantic moment now you know what friendship is all about yeah even when your besties are there that friend still remains okay now coming to sean and wani you guys i am seeing so many people saying this we are only for wani x handy we are not uh, she passed we are not for sean like i saw a post somebody was saying did you guys see that when um sean makes a post that wani x handy's fans engages that post and is like but when they make theirs that sean stars do not engage their posts and some persons are already trying to call cause discord just like they were talking about kelly ray and cassia yesterday now yes sean and wani are just dating of course they should have their individual fans we they have then they have she sheep has if you guys don't know in the history of all big brother we have sheep has we have those who are standing you we are we have those who are shippers that is what they are we have brand builders okay these brand builders are there to build they don't care whoever you are in a relationship or their own is that they want you they want to build your brand they want your name to be heard they want to push you out there okay they want to make sure that all your social media app is is at the top they just want to be sure that you are succeeding now shippers hmm, the all moment that is their own they want to make sure that that relationship is healthy thriving okay now some shippers feel I'm not a Wani fan. I'm not. All I know is that I'm for both of them. Now, some real Wani fans are feeling like, hmm, we shouldn't just be doing this thing as if we are siblings. Anytime Sean puts up something, we'll go there. And but you guys, did you guys know that this post show 
I am just loving Wani for one thing, for being herself, for always being herself. Do you know why I said this in terms of dressing? Because some persons are feeling like, oh, this is that, classy, this is that. It doesn't really concern these two. They just want to, any whatever outfit they are comfortable in, they are good to go. I am loving that they are not putting pressure on themselves. That's one thing I love about people. Don't put pressure on yourself. Don't put your hand where your hand is not, um, is not where your cut your clothes according to the material that you have if you have a three years make sure you're making a very short gown okay when you have a hundred yards you can make whatever you like that is one thing i'm enjoying about wani this season and the fact that she keeps an open mind doesn't think so much about the future why am i saying this because there was a post about Sh that sean made you guys know sean had this season with tvc today he had this interview all right now wani had already said something that was with toke when toke asked about sean wani said even if she doesn't date Sean, even if she's not going to marry Sean, they are going to be friends. They are actually going to be friends. You guys, did you see that? Keeping an open mind one day at a time. Don't think it so much. Don't think about the future. You know, friends are thinking, oh, they are AS. Oh. People are already thinking for them, but the people are just having fun, enjoying their time, living in the moment. Meanwhile, Sean wrote something. Oh, I don't know if I can quote his exact words that... Um, just love what you see don't expect anything don't do that, 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 that exactly what exactly what one he says so both of them are not giving pressure on themselves oh are we going is going to is it going to last it's not going to last one had mentioned even if anything happens i know that sean is going to be my friend for life and ibuka had asked her what if he means she said no i don't think he is going to do that i know that sean is going to be my friend for life yeah i had to bring put both of them in here because i am talking about sean now you guys sean has come out and a lot of persons are like oh he has also revealed his karaoke that he has you guys should go patronize him and you guys can you guys see that victoria is actually that true friend so anybody that wants to put an incorrect tag upon that girl it is not done because if you want to have if you if you really want to know the kind of person she is you will know it from her relationship with wani and handy even from the house imagine coming in the house with somebody you perceive as your friend and your friend is already moving on and we didn't see any sort of awkward energy between them we didn't see any sort of no so why would people come out and say victoria is fake because she puts a laughing emoji under a post about Onyeka, please you guys should cut me some slack this was exactly what happened between yolanda and she went there because people were saying some things and yolanda was laughing does it mean the person is um taking it you guys don't even know why she's laughing she's laughing as throws because she doesn't even have time to respond to whatever you people are saying and please guys you guys should just stop dragging these people they are cool even if they aren't going to be friends they'll be cordial and somebody had posted something advising um some of these housemates the person said one ex handy at djs um victoria has a travel agency um who else did he mention sean had something caught some persons that already have an established thing so do not drag your faves so much because some of them are still starting and some of them might be needing these people at some point or another so you guys share your thoughts in the comment because this whole thing i just saw a post people calling her fake i said no she is not because if she was she would have been saying ill things about sean which she has not and today he got so much and she said please give sean some grace you guys should stop dragging this young man isn't that enough that's enough and besides sean had already told these people just Anybody that is dragging you, please pay them back with kindness. Like the thing is becoming too much. And the young man, not get straight for the yeah, despite all the things we saw it in the house. But you guys, did you guys see that? After they were unpaired, there was this kind of good vibes and energy that was probably when he went with with Wani. Maybe he was thinking or feeling that, oh, because I'm not with this person, I want to make this person feel somehow or get her to realize or do but Videra did not do any of that. When he saw that, oh, this is my friend or this pair I came into the house with is actually a good person. Vibing with people that are vibing with me. So but he only had to advise himself and he did the right thing before the show ended. But you guys I don't really know. Share your thoughts in the comments and what do you think of Wani and Sean about what the are saying about their relationship keeping an open mind do you guys think they are seeing anything or do you guys think they're just having fun living in the moment and not thinking too much share your thoughts in the comments i'll see you in my next video bye